Hey guys, welcome back to a, another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about what I've been carrying with me all summer. So it's getting colder now. Obviously you can tell, you know, it's jacket season here finally in Ohio. Uh, but I wanted to talk to you guys today about what I have been carrying with me this past summer. A lot of things are different than what I've normally been carrying, and I think now I'm finally starting to get it dialed into exactly uh, what my perfect EDC would actually be. So let's stop wasting time and dive into the gear. All right, so the number one thing and probably the most important thing that I carry with me on a daily basis has got to be my cell phone. So this runs basically my whole business. It's how you guys get a hold of me, whether it be for holsters, training, or the other business, pictures, videos, anything like that. This is the main source of how I communicate with my customers, clients, friends, family, all of those things, social media. Uh, and this is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I opted out of a pop socket for this particular case because I didn't want to take away from the aesthetic of the leather. As you can tell, this thing wears very nicely. I'll throw up a picture of this case when I got it on day one to what it looks like right now. As you can tell, this product tells a story. This is why I love leather. It's unique in every aspect to the user. It tells a story of the person who's carrying it, where they've been and what they've done. Okay, so while we're on the topic of tech, I am carrying the iPods Pro, and that again is in a Nomad leather case. And I spent a little bit more money on the Pro version of these AirPods as the first generation AirPods are like the wired version and they don't typically tend to stay in my ears very well so I decided to opt for the Pro version for the rubberized earpieces uh, that create a nice seal as well as the noise canceling function which in my opinion is amazing and the face that people make when you give them these for the first time and it just cancels all of the noise out is hilarious to me. All right, so we're still on tech. So uh, my car isn't real fancy, so I have an auxiliary port and I use a wireless Bluetooth headphone jack. And this is the Hagibus or whatever, however you wanna say it, doesn't really matter to me. Just a nice little flexible Bluetooth headphone jack that plugs into my car and I can take it with me into either vehicle. Uh, my wife's or mine and it works perfectly. It pairs nice and fast. Uh, it was easy setup, and it charges with a USB type C. All right guys, so apparently we are still in the tech category. Uh, this is my Apple Watch, and I don't know what series or gen this is, I can't remember, um, but I just have a leather strap on here with a rugged armor, shock resistant, OD green case as well, and a carbon fiber uh, sticker on the button, oh, nice and bright and orange. Uh, and that's from D brand, I believe. Again, that, that leather forms a nice patina and, and makes it a unique piece to me. So I do really, really love this. I am looking at maybe getting a different strap once this thing finally wears out, but uh, we'll see in the future. So I do like this one and uh, I'm sure that I can have some links down in the description for you guys. All right, so that is gonna wrap up the tech side of things, uh, but we are still in the leather section. Uh, we are going to pretty much be in the leather section for the majority of this video because that's kind of the theme is uh, everything in here is mostly either leather or OD green or leather and OD green. Uh, if you if you couldn't tell, I'm a fan. So this is my minimalist wallet and this is from uh, Yukon leather or Yukon bags, something like that. I can't really remember. Uh, exactly what the name of the company is, but I will have links in the description for this. It's a minimalist wallet with three card slots and a slot in the top for cash or you could store other cards in there if you'd like. It appears to be handmade and with high quality materials. There's not much else to say about this given its minimalist nature. All I will say is that it has been great to carry around in my pocket and I have absolutely no complaints about it whatsoever. And as most of you guys know, we do sell and make our own Kydex wallets that are very durable, much more durable than actual leather wallets. So if you are interested in any of these, uh, which I do carry this, if I'm looking for something a little bit 
more secure. Uh, but for now, I do enjoy the way that the leather feels and the way that it wears. But this, still great product, obviously. And uh, I do recommend them if you would like. Down in the description, check out our website and you can custom make your very own Kydex wallet. All right guys, next up on the list is keys. So for keys, I have been carrying the Trevex Link. And I originally saw this years ago on a Talon Sai video. So if you're not following Talon already, you should probably go check that out. And what I love about these keys is the quick attach and detach. It's just the press of a button and you've got a lock. And if you need to take it off, there you go. So no more uh, having to unclasp this off of your belt loop. You can just detach this if you have your your car keys on there or something like that, you need to take it off frequently, you can go ahead and do so and separate the two. And on my keys, I do have a little pull tab from a company called Dangerous But Good. And I have quite a few of their products. They make t-shirts and different apparel and things like that, but I also do have their water bottle as well. And I love this thing, it's by far my favorite water bottle that I think that I've ever owned. And uh, this thing keeps uh, drinks cooler or hotter depending on you know what you're drinking. Better than any cup that I've ever used in my entire life. So I love this thing, highly recommend. Dangerous but good, linked down in the description. Uh, so next in my left pocket, I keep a pen. And this is the same pen that you guys saw before. It's a brass pen and it's one of those bolt action pens. It's got a nice glass break on the end of it. The pocket clip still going strong. Very, very strong pocket clip. Love this thing, it's just a normal ballpoint pen at the end of it and uh, it does take the right in the rain cartridges I believe so uh, very easy to find very easy to pick up so love this pen uh, very weighty and believe it or not I use this thing probably more than most things in my EDC absolutely love this highly recommend all right so the next thing that is in my pockets and that goes in the same pocket with my wallet are handkerchief so I have two different handkerchiefs that I will typically carry with me on a daily basis. And I'll either go with one or the other depending on what I'm doing or where I'm going. And these are from a company called Mighty Hanks and you can find them on Instagram. I love these because they are handmade here in America and he makes sure that you know that with every order. With his fast shipping and great customer service, he really makes a fantastic product. He really interacts with his customer base on social media, which I can relate to. On the front you have your fabric and he has a ton of different options to choose from for fabric. And then on the inside is a microfiber cloth layer that he gives you instructions on how to take care of. Uh, but I use this a lot for cleaning camera lenses, glasses, phone screens, all of those things that require maybe a little bit more delicate touch. All right, so getting more into the stabby shooty portion of our EDC. I always, always carry a pocket knife no matter what. I never leave the house without a pocket knife or some sort of cutting tool on my person. So for the last couple months, I have been carrying this knife from We Knife. Now, I'm not going to go into a lot of specifics about this knife. Just know that it is much lighter than you think it is when you pick it up. The blade style is a dagger. It has a flat grind and a black stone wash finish. The handle material is a mix between a carbon fiber and a G10. It is a ceramic ball bearing action, so it is not assisted in any way, even though you would never know it by flicking this thing out. The frame liner is made out of titanium and it can be used right or left handed. I'm a big tip up knife carry guy. If you're one of those tip down people, I'm not really sure what you're doing with your life, but you really need to get on that tip up game. <clears throat> mm, strike force energy discount code down below 20% off check it out okay so an honorable mention knife obviously has to go to the benchmade bug out i love this thing so much i've just been wanting to test out the new knife that i got in uh, so this thing obviously needs no introduction to this channel i've used this for many 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 times Many videos you've seen this in, so I do still love this knife. It's hard to beat this knife and the access lock uh, for Benchmades. Really, really enjoy this. And I could sit here and fidget with this thing all day. That is the only drawback 
to this Wii Angst is that it is a frame lock knife. It doesn't have the access lock or anything like that. Um, so obviously this is going to be much easier to close than this, but still love this. Okay, moving on. All right, so in my back pocket, I carry a spare mag on a Neo mag. Neo mag should need no introduction to the everyday carry market. This thing has proven itself over and over and over again to be one of the greatest ways to carry a spare mag without all the fuss and muss of wearing a belt carrier or some sort of external carrier. Uh, having this in your pocket makes the mag completely disappear and very easy to gain access to a spare mag when you need it. And I had the opportunity to meet the guys from Neomag up at a shooting event that we did at C4, which they sponsored. And I did the photography and videography for, so that was pretty cool. It was great to meet them. They are great people, and I highly recommend checking out their products. All right, guys, so the last thing in my EDC, and uh, shh, don't, don't, don't tell YouTube that I'm showing you guys this on camera, okay? Just be, keep it between you and me. Okay. I have been carrying the Springfield Hellcat for a couple months now, and I gotta say guys, I am in love with this gun. I didn't think that I'd like it as much as I did, but I really do. I think it's a fantastic carry choice, and uh, I couldn't be happier with this gun. So the holster choice obviously is the Sidekick by us, North Coast Tactical and I decided to go with the flex cord version of our Sidekick to keep the green and leather aesthetic. The Sidekick offers two tuckable clips in either 1.5 or 1.75 inch, also available in Ulti Clip, a concealment claw that rides along your belt and helps to reduce printing by pushing the grip of the gun in towards your body, multiple different hardware mounting positions as well as ride height, adjustable retention on the pistol and the mag carrier. And as you can see on the back of the holster, we have our concealment wedge, which helps aid in comfort and concealment by pushing the top of the gun in towards your body, reducing printing. The front of the holster is our true hide print. It's designed to mimic the feel, aesthetic, and the look of leather, but having the durability of Kydex. The back piece of Kydex, or the inside, is a custom topographic print that is exclusive to our customers. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions on gear or you would like to check out our website, and I will try to link everything down in the description that I can find for you guys. That's gonna do it for me, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I really hope that I can get back into the swing and make these videos more than every three months and uh, we can get back to a normal schedule. So I miss making these videos for you guys and uh, I hope to see you again in the next one. So see you in another three months. Peace.